Hey everyone, this is Lucky7DX, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Trading Card Game. In the last episode, we beat up Ronald once more in glorious fashion for once. And well, actually, we've always beaten him in glorious fashion. And then we fought Eren, and we did not win in glorious fashion. We kind of lost badly, because Eren seems to beat us a lot on camera, which is kind of weird. But I beat him in between videos, so I have more energies. So let's go to our next club with our Grass Psychic deck. Uh, didn't really get a show off yet, so it's going to be the official on-camera premiere of it. I have used it a couple times, though, and it's not bad so far. It doesn't really have as much synergy as I'd like, but what can you do sometimes? I mean, I'm trying to basically use two of, like, you know, every dual-color combination besides, you know, normal doesn't count as a color in this one, because normal doesn't count. Anyways, you can see I have 12 energies. I have 14 energies total right now, which is still pretty low, but for a dual-color deck, it's not too bad. Uh, everything's pretty much unchanged otherwise. Really, I can't think of a good name, because I just can't really think of names good, so I'm just going to call this... I don't know, we're gonna call this, uh, we're gonna just call this, because it, it's basically based on Executor and Psychic Pokemon, we're gonna just kinda call this the Psychic Breakfast, be Breakfast deck, because, I don't know, I think that's funny, even though it's really not that funny. It's not certainly not as good as Evolution, but then again, that deck kinda sucked anyway, because it lost to Ken a lot. Then again, the Psychic gym is, gym is possibly the hardest one, I know the Fire Gym is pretty hard, the Water Gym is considered to be pretty hard, the Psychic one's probably, like, the, those three are probably the hardest, in my opinion. So, here we go. Oh, what are you doing here, duder? You're just a lad. Go away. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and talk over here. Um, here's Robert, actually. We actually saw him, um, earlier in the Challenge Cup. I'm gonna talk to other people before I start this match off. Um, so, blah, blah, blah. He's dropped all his cards in a plant. Why do you drop your cards in a plant, dude? That's kinda stupid. Anyway, I wanna talk over here, because this guy is important. Um, basically, Murray is a, um, a big pain in the ass to this guy, so if you, his name is Pappy. Um, okay, so basically we're gonna go beat Murray, he'll give us a card afterwards, and that's the reason why I'm doing the Psychic Club first over the Science Club and the Fighting Club, which also will require Psychic-type decks to use, because Psychic is weak to, I think a lot of things are weak to Psychic in Pokemon Training Card Game. So, keep that in mind, but now we're gonna go ahead and fight Robert with this Ghost deck that doesn't really have weaknesses, even though we beat him in like two seconds in the Challenge Cup, uh, uh well, the first Challenge Cup, so... Here we go! Psychedelic breakfast, go! Do you like your eggs? I like my eggs. I should have called it green eggs and ham. I really should have called it green eggs and ham. You know what? I'm gonna change my deck name to green eggs and ham after this. Um, but for now, it's the psycho breakfast, so that's fine. Um, I guess Tangle is really the only thing we can put out here, so I'll throw out the Abra and the Mew as well. I mean, it'll be nice if he gets any evolved Pokemon, but let's just try to finish him off before that point. Uh, we have a Bill and a Gust of Wind, so we can cause some havoc, and that's always a good thing. It's a Zubat! What are you doing here, Zubat? You're annoying. Don't try to confuse my Pokémon. I will freaking paralyze your face! That's gonna be annoying if you can get that off. Ooh, here we go, an, ex an Execute already. Uh, now these Pokémon can use um, either Psychic or... Ooh, a Bill for a Bill again! That seems to always happen. Uh, it's a Hypno! That could be cool, too. But, um, Execute's kind of unique in, in that... Nope, wrong one. My player, area. Yeah. Um, it can use a Psychic Energy to put him to sleep, or it can do the Leech Seed, so it has kind of the best of both worlds, so any energy I get in this deck can be useful for the Execute line, which is really nice. Uh, anyway, obviously I'm gonna just go for the Paralysis here, because that's the point in leading off of a Tangela. It's the Paralyzed stall and basically give them a bad day. Although I have a lot of Paralyzing Pokémon in this deck, I have, uh, Mew, Abra, uh, what are you, what are you trying to do here, boy? Stop trying to charge up your Pokémon, I don't appreciate it. Um... I wish I had the Drowsy right now, but I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead, just charge up Execute. I could go for the Poison. I don't particularly feel like keeping Tangela alive that long, though, though, so I'm not gonna really bother with it. Although, if this thing has Leech Life, which I think it, Zubats do have Leech Life, yeah, it does. So he's gonna be able to gain his health back anyway. So I'm really gonna need to get Paralysis in order to be able to do anything against this Duder. Um, Computer Search. Interesting, 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 because I can definitely get something good with that. Um, but for now... Well, what do I want to get? That's the big question. I could get Executor. That's pretty tempting. I could also get uh, Kadabra. That's also tempting. So I'm going to put this on Abra for now. And I'm going to wait and see how the match goes and see what ends up being better. I think I, it's going to be a really interesting stall war between Leech Life and uh, Sp Stun Spore here. So I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to turn out. Kind of gonna, starting to seem like it's going to be a bit of a long match because I got the Drowsy, so... Um, it might not be a bad idea to go for the Hypno at this point. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that while I have the chance. Um, so really I'm just charging up a bunch of different Pokémon here. Kind of odd. Uh, just need two more Psychic Energies for that. It'll be interesting to see why I can get the Computer Search later. I can always go for an Energy of that if I need to. The nice thing about Computer Search, uh, you have a Ditto. Why do you have a Ditto? 
You're supposed to be have a ghost deck, and now you just have all this sort of crap. I can get rid of this one drowsy. Okay, so that's good. Don't really have any energies I can use now, but that's okay, because Tangela just beat the Zubat. Take that game. I don't like you and your Zubat. Your Zubat. It's annoying. Hit the Weedle. I guess I can get rid of that, too. I don't really have any particular need for a wheel right now. So don't pound me, ditto. That's disgusting. Uh, ooh, Pokeball. Well, what can I get from this? I can go for Debra, I guess. Oh, or not, because Pokeball said no. Uh, no energies, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's okay. I don't really particularly need energies right now. Tangela can still hold the fort for quite a while. It's going to be a slow death to Robert. He's going to use his Morph move. We've seen that before. Uh, that's going to be kind of annoying. Here we go. No sick energy. Throw this on Drowsy. Might as well just evolve a Hypno now, because I can always get it, another energy if I computer search if I need to. So that's going to be cool. I'll go ahead and check the Hypno if I haven't seen him. I don't know if I've shown him before. But he can basically do um, use this to look at the top three cards of your deck, which is kind of nice to use. Or you can also do this, um, which will basically do 30 damage and 10 damage to one bench Pokemon, which is not too bad either. Doing damage to bench Pokemon always is very useful. That's actually the entire basis of the water type deck on Pokemon Train Card Game Online. It's entirely, entirely based on uh, bench damage. It can be really fun there. Uh, bench damage not so prevalent in this game as it was as it is in the current game, I guess, these days. I mean, the most you're really going to be able to do is like 10 or 20 damage at a time, which is just kind of pathetic, so... There's really no, like, major move where you can, like, really strike their deck. Okay, he's going to morph into something. He's going to morph into a Zubat. That's, that's just silly, dude. Why are you doing that? I'm going to go ahead and get Execute here. At this point, I see no reason not to get rid of these and get an Executor, actually. Because, well, I have a pretty decently charged up, uh... Where, where, don't tell me it's in there. Don't tell me it's a prize. Don't tell me it's a prize. Or did I, just tell me I passed it. Tell me I just am an idiot and I passed it. No, of course not. This game is just annoying now. Alright, do we have a Kadabra? I guess Kadabra is our next best option. So, Kadabra... Well, maybe I can get it on my next prize, that'd be nice, but I don't know. Oh, this is going to be annoying, because now it's going to start doing its confused hacks. I don't like Ditto, because it just makes a it turns into a random Pokemon, that's just kind of point. This is a really... Oh, goodness. That thing's scary now. Up uh, there goes Tangela to a wing attack. Ow. However, if I do remember correctly, I do believe it's weak to... Uh, oh, I don't have a freaking... Oh, that's not cool. Game. I don't have enough to get this Hypno, so okay, please get second energy. Of course not, it's a grass energy. Uh, I'll throw this on Abra, because I can hopefully get the Kadabra soon, yeah. And uh, I guess I can just stall by gusting it. Yeah, there's no reason not to go ahead and gust a win out this thing to uh, something else. The problem is he has some Pokemon as bench right now that are resistant to those kind of things. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Well... I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna get, bring him this mouth. Yeah, I won't be able to hit it, but I can always gust the wind back. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna use prophecy, and then okay, I'm not really gonna get anything decent here for a while. That's not good. Well, I may as well do it like this. I don't have a Weedle anymore though, so this is kind of unfortunate. I was hoping the top of my deck would have a psychic energy, but it doesn't. Well, for now, we're just gonna sit here, and it's gonna be a really long, boring match, I guess. Um, this grass energy really has no place right now. Uh. Well, I'm not, I know I'm not getting anything anytime soon, so I might as well just keep going. Oh, well, now he's going to start doing damage, but it's not really... I mean, it's only 10 damage at a time. Hypno obviously has a lot of energies, so it's not a big deal. He will be drawing cards, though. That's not good. Well, I might as well... Uh, actually, you can actually manipulate your opponent's deck as well. Oh my goodness, he's going to get all three in a row. That's interesting. You can get it, you can get it going backwards, buddy. There you go. I just reversed the order of his deck. That's going to be annoying, because that means he's almost definitely going to get a Gengar. Well, guys, the first match of Robert took a really short time, and this one's taking freaking forever. That's just great. Okay, is that all the... Okay, so now I know everything's gone here. I know I have the Executor in my prizes, so I can definitely do something with that. So, I see no reason why not to attach Grass Energies, because the more Grass Energies you have on him, the better. Now, hopefully soon I can get this... Uh, I can get this Dark Mind going here so I can start doing stuff with Hypno. Of course I can, finally! Excellent. Although I could also get Kadabra, but I, I can wait. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Gust of Wind out his Golbat because I don't like it anymore, and I'm pretty sure you are weak to, you are weak to, uh, Psychic, right? Yeah, you are. Good. So, goodbye, buddy. Dark Mind, and... I may as well put, start putting damage on this Meowth, because that thing is going to be a pain in the ass to kill when I can't 
do damage to when I can't resist it, so or when he resists it. Nope, of course I didn't get the executor. Damn it. Oh well. Um, unfortunately, I already threw out the whole uh, Weedle uh, Kakuno Beedrill line, so I can't really do much there. A switch might be a decent idea right now, actually. Um, although I can't do much with this. I'm going to keep this Grass Energy here for now, and I'm going to go ahead, use the switch, bring out Exec... Ex uh, and I'm going to go ahead and Leech Seed him, and I'll do 20 damage. He won't be able to kill me because he's only doing 10 damage a pop, and Leech Seed can heal 10 damage, so... The only unfortunate thing is that Gengar is coming, and I'm going to have to have something to deal with that soon. Uh, although... Well, I don't need Grass Energies, game! Give me something useful, please! Unless I can get my Execute when I kill this thing, uh or Executor, then then, I, then I'll have a bit in good shape. Otherwise, this is going to be kind of a bit of a pain. Uh, what you can do, though, with uh, Gengar especially, it's the opposite of Alakazam's. You can actually move around your opponent's damage counters and use that to sort of manipulate things. Still not helping game. Well, uh, no, I'm not going to waste an energy. The nice thing about Executor is the more it, basically its attack does 20 damage times the number of energies you have. So the more energies you can put on it, there we go, here it is. It's going to be a nice Executor versus Gengar showdown right here, right now. Gengar's also other move is Dark Mind, very similar to Hypnos. It'll do 30 damage plus 10 damage to a benched Pokemon, which is going to be my Abra. No, don't hurt my Abra. That's rude, dude. Did I evolve it yet? Um, I didn't evolve it. Let's go ahead and evolve it so it's safe. I still have a Weedle, but I'm not going to bother with Weedle right now. I'm going to evolve to Executor, and I'm just going to go ahead and charge up a bunch of energies on this thing. Because it's 20 damage times the number of heads. Also, if you have a psychic energy, you can also use it to retreat uh, without paying energy costs, which is good. So every time I get heads, I'm going to do 20 damage. So about... Oh, we're going to get 60 damage right off the bat. So that's going to be good. That Gengar is probably not going to survive, which is good because in two hits, he's going to kill me anyway. Oh, what are you doing? Don't move my energies. Oh, you can only move one energy a turn, though. So do keep that in mind. Uh, wait, what just, what just happened? No damage or effects due to what? What? What just happened? Oh, of course! Uh, the Neutrons and Shield still uh, counts when you're on the bench. So, thanks to Muse Pokemon Power, he actually cannot hurt it with Dark uh, with his Dark Mind, which I guess the computer just doesn't program to do that. So, another use for Mew here. I, I, forgot, I completely forgot I had this Mew on the bench. I could just have stalled him out with the Mew alone, because he cannot hurt the Mew, thanks to uh, the fact that um, any evolved Pokemon cannot hurt it. Anyway... Odds are I have, like, a one in, like, basically I have to get five tails in a row to not win this match, so I think I'm good to go right now. Two. Oh, yeah, I'm, like, he's, like, long dead. This is the power of Executor right here. 60 damage per hit now, thanks to the, all the mass amount of energies I have on him. Pretty nifty Pokemon. I kind of wish I had a little bit more, because I'd throw in an extra copy if I had an extra copy of Execute. But who knows? Maybe I can get it now. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, what are you going to get? An evolution deck? I don't think it's in evolution, though. Flareon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as you guys, as I mentioned before, I could. It would be nice if I could use this Gengar line. That's right there. Um, but unfortunately, I, these Galaxies of Hunters kind of suck. So probably not going to happen. Um, so I'll make sure there's nothing, any interesting changes I can make. But not really. It seems at this point, like, oh, I guess I could throw in the extra Weedle Be Beedrill Kakuna. That could maybe be interesting. That's a tempting thought. Yeah. See, I don't. I only have two Executes, which sucks. Um, well, what else do I have in here? I have the Jigglypuff Wigglytuff line. I mean, I could do that, and then... I don't know exactly how I'd change things around. Um, it would be gearing things a bit more towards the... Uh, grass line, then. I mean... I guess it's not a bad idea to do that, and then take out the Jigglypuff Wigglytuff, because we've seen that enough. Um, so for the next, this next match, I'll do that, and I'm gonna switch these... Uh, Manipulate these energies just slightly like this, because um, that seems like it'll work well as well. So we'll do that, and I'm going to rename this. It's going to be called Green Eggs and Ham, because I need to make a reference to Dr. Seuss. That's awesome. But I'm actually going to end the episode here, because that was a really long match. Um, and then I can hopefully get the next two done next time, which is nice, because I don't have Inakumi anymore, so I can't sort of use that to uh, negate short episodes. Oh, tell me this fits. Yes, Green Eggs and Ham deck. Kind of a weird, weird, stupid thing. But in this next episode, we're going to enter the main part of the Psychic Club and take on the remaining two trainers. Uh, so this is Lucky7DX signing out. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.